Good morning chaps, welcome along on a fine sunny but chilly Monday morning here at Harrison's Brewery in Retford. This weekend was somewhat eventful because uh, I was meant to go to a birthday party which I'd brewed the 60-30 beer for. It turns out that I wasn't in best fettle so uh, I couldn't make the party and then yesterday I actually felt fine but today I'm really paying for it. I've got bursitis in the knee and the old phantoplasia-itis I think it is, is playing up in the foot and unfortunately for me they're both on different legs so I'm hobbling about like a prat and for some reason my kidneys are killing me so I'm not sure if I'm picking up a bug or I've just been drinking too much. I don't know. But yeah, anyway, I laid off the beer on the weekend because of said ailments. So today's plan is to, once I've cleaned out these fermenters, or at least got them recirking with caustic, I'm gonna have myself a nice hot coffee and I'm gonna pump myself full of painkillers. Paracetamol, ibuprofen, morphine, <laughs> whatever I can lay my hands on. Because unfortunately I can't afford to take a day off, as you probably know, we're trying to open the pub for the 1st of November. Which leads me neatly on to what's going to happen when we do open. Well, yeah, we're going to have an opening night, probably on the 1st of November, or the closest suitable day to that. But what I'd advise is, if anybody wants to come over for that, just hold back a month. Because we're going to be really busy, so if you want to talk to me or you want to have a look around, I ain't going to be able to devote any time to any visitors in that first month because I'll have my hands full with the pub, with the brewery, keeping the beer going and ironing out any creases that may appear, you know, any hiccups that may happen in the first month or two. So what uh, we've done um, in conjunction with uh, the brew tubers and Tony Howard really has set it all up, uh, we've got a Brewers meet again like we did in the summer. Uh, I'll leave a link down below for the Facebook page so if you hop onto there and let Tony know that you come in, sort out some accommodation, everybody's going to descend on Retford on the 1st of December. So I kind of hope you can come, the more the merrier. It will be, uh, we've got space for you now as you can see next door. So if you do want to come along and have a little bit of a brewery tour, see the pub, see some other pubs in Retford, maybe go for something to eat somewhere and just generally have a really good time and a bit of a piss up then December the 1st is the place to come so hopefully you can make it obviously if you're in New Zealand, Australia or the States it's quite a flight but uh, yeah a lot of people in the UK are going to descend I think it's going to be a fantastic day stroke night it was earlier on in the year so hopefully we'll see you then Ready. I'm about to chuck in some cleaning solution into the tanks and because I've left the sediment in the tanks for a couple of days thanks for crashing audio chance clip clopping around up there buddy yeah cheers mate so because I've left the tanks for a couple of days with the sediment in the bottom I like to give them a deep clean so the cleaners that I use are Cosgleam generally for the tanks, but when I want to give it a deep clean I use this stuff which is called Hyperquest or sometimes I'll use something called Chloroquest and basically it's Quite a powerful sequential cleaner which contains chlorine as well So it's not something that you want to be leaving on your stainless steel for too long because it will start to corrode it but once a month or on particular instances for deep clean it's a good idea to use something like this because it also kills anything in there. It sanitizes, sterilizes, as well as cleans. And it gets into the nooks and crannies a little bit more deeper than the, than the Cosgleam. Uh, this is the Cosgleam, which we use. All of these chemicals are available at Niche Solutions, which is 
a UK based website and they'll ship it to you as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So I've got this solution mixed up. I'm gonna stick it in the tank. I'm gonna set up my recirculation pump to spray through the spray ball and we'll pump this solution round and round for 15 minutes to half an hour. And then once it's done its job, we'll pump it into the next tank and we'll recycle the solution and use it in the next tank too. And then the tank that I've taken it out of, I'll completely rinse down so there's no traces of it left whatsoever. And then that's ready for an acid wash tomorrow prior to the brew day, or prior to filling the tank after the brew day, should I say. And the acid that I use is Persid 15, which is a little bit like Star Sam, if you use Star Sam. It's a no rinse solution. Just whack it on, recirculate it for 15 to 20 minutes, drain it out, fill up with beer. You're good to go. Cheers. Another day flown by. I really don't feel like I've achieved that much, but I've not stopped all day. I've not stopped for lunch. I've just eaten a couple of apples while I've buzzed around. It's bloody crackers how the days just fly by. I suppose I've achieved something. I put that hole in the wall. That's a, I suppose a focal point. Saves us putting a picture up there, doesn't it? But yeah, I like a little bit of exposed brick. I've got most of the grain in the mash tun ready for tomorrow's brew day. As you can hear behind me, I'm filling up the HLT. And then I've also got some wheat malt here, which is uncrushed. I've got to crack that in the morning. I might do it tonight, actually. Oh, I went next door for the drill. I forgot to get it. And then I've also managed to plug in this uh, set of scales that we picked up from Nottingham last week. It's come from Bingham's uh, Potted Foods, actually, from the Salmon Room. Uh, I've got it working, but the trouble is it's calibrated for pounds and I want it in grams essentially or kilos. So as you can see I can turn it on. That's the model number there. If anyone knows anything about it or can help me out here, would be much appreciated. But nothing seems to work until you press and hold this gross weight button for some time. In fact, I had to press quite a few different buttons. And I think, yeah, it'll just... Ah, maybe that's not what happens. Maybe it just needs time. So we'll come back to it in a moment. Yeah, you see, I'm there. I've no manual for it. So I was there pushing buttons earlier on, and then it turned on. And uh, 
actually had numbers on there. So maybe it's just booting and then it'll turn itself. Yes, it is, look. There we go, it's done it. So if anybody knows anything about this machine, it's an Ian Fellows Limited System 1X Industrial Way Terminal with that floor plate. And it does work. As you can see, it says kilos, but it's actually reading in pounds. It's been calibrated for pounds. So I don't know how to change that. I'm sure somebody out there in the hive mind will know exactly what to do and fail that. Maybe they can get in touch with Ian Fellows for me and get me the correct PDF instruction manual. I'm sure it'll be out there somewhere. Right, I'm going to wait for this HLT to finish filling up, which will only be a couple of seconds, and then I'm going to get in the car and go home and edit the vlog for your pleasure. And we'll pick up tomorrow with a brew day, which will be interspliced with little bits of pub building. We'll see you then.